Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am S. Nitya, Assistant Professor from the Department of CSC, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am here to explain on the topic Midpoint Circle Drawing Algorithm. Circle can be defined as set of all points with the same uniform radius R starting at center x c comma y c. It can be either originating from an origin or any center for that matter. It can take a center point say x c comma y c. And circle has a property of symmetry that is every quadrant is symmetrical to every other three quadrants of the circle. So when we are supposed to draw a circle, we will draw a particular octant. Octant in the sense it, if a circle is divided into eight parts, one part is called an octant. One octant circumference points, circumference coordinates are if, if it is drawn, then we are we can draw the entire circle by the symmetry property. So midpoint circle drawing algorithm goes as like the first point is to determine the closest pixel point. When we start at a point say xk comma yk, we will have to determine what is the next point. What are the there are two possible cases the next point can be, and we will have to find which is closest to the circle path. So we will start first at the center as 0, 0 and the radius given given radius r. We will start drawing from 0, r as the initial point. We will stop the iteration when x is equal to y. With that step, we will finish off one octant's coordinates. With the help of that particular points, we will finish off the entire circle based on the symmetry property. So to accomplish this, we have a circle function called f circle of x comma y which is given as x squared plus y squared minus r squared. When a particular point lies exactly on the boundary of the circle, this equation equates to 0. When it is less than 0, it implies that the point is inside the circle boundary. When it is greater, it implies that the point is outside the circle boundary. So we have to take an example, say this black dot is our starting point, say xk comma yk. We have two possible chances that the next point can be. Obviously, the x coordinate is going to get incremented because the circle path is this way. So, or any cases, any of the cases, we have decision parameters a pk when it is less than 0 and even if it is greater than 0, the xk value is going to get incremented. It is constant. That is, the next x, xk will be xk plus 1. Whereas, in y coordinate, there are two chances. That is, it can take either yk or yk minus 1. So, the two possi possible pixels are xk plus 1 comma yk, xk plus 1 comma yk minus 1. So, let we have started with the initial point say 0 comma r. What are the next possible pixels? It is obviously x gets incremented in both cases. So, it is, it is going to be 1 in both cases. Whereas, y is either y itself or y minus 1. So, it is 1 comma r or 1 comma r minus 1. We have to find the midpoint of these two pixels apply it to the circle function equation. So midpoint is got as 1 comma r minus 1 by 2. How do I get it? If it is x1, y1, x2, y2, we get the midpoint as x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So we have got 1 comma r minus 1 by 2. We will have to substitute this particular point into the functions, function of circle equation which is x squared plus y squared minus r squared. x is 1, y is r minus 1 by 2. So we substitute, so 1 squared is this. This is of the form a minus b the whole square minus r square. When we expand this, we get 5 by 4 minus r, which can be approximated to 1 minus r. This becomes the initial decision parameter. So the next successive decision parameters, to obtain it, we take a point say xk comma yk. What would be the next possible pixels? It is obviously xk plus 1 in two cases, whereas in y coordinate, it is going to be either yk or yk minus 1. These are the two possible next pixels. So we will have to find the midpoint of these two pixels. Again, use the same formula x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. We get xk plus 1 comma yk minus 1 by 2. The next decision parameter in the circle function is evaluated at this particular midpoint. So we get the same formula x squared plus y squared minus r squared. So this x squared is of the form a plus b the whole square. We expand it as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Second term is of the form a minus b the whole square. We expand it and we get the equation, equation 1. The next decision parameter say pk plus 1 has to be got. So we substitute instead of k, we substitute k plus 1. So in the same equation, we substitute in place of k, we substitute k plus 1. Here also in, in place of k, we have substituted k plus 1. So expanding them, x squared plus y squared minus r squared. This is again of the form a plus b the whole squared, we get some terms and a minus b the whole squared, we get some terms. So this is pk plus 1. We need the next decision parameter to move forward. So what do we do is we subtract this equation from the equation 1. So we get pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 into xk plus 1 plus yk plus 1 the whole square minus yk square 
minus of y k plus 1 minus y k plus 1. We take this as equation 3. And there are two possible cases where p k can be negative or positive. When it is negative, we will have to take y k plus 1 to be y k itself. That is the next coordinate of y is y k itself. So, we have to substitute y k in place of y k plus 1, we get this particular equation. And when it is greater than 0, we will have to substitute y k minus 1 in place of y k plus 1 in the third equation. So, we get this particular equation say p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus 2 x k plus 1 plus 1 minus 2 y k plus 1. So, the steps are as follows. The first point is we will have to take the initial point x naught y naught as 0 comma r and the initial de decision parameter we have obtained as 5 by 4 minus r. We can take it as 1 minus r also. Then we will have to see what is p naught, whether, whether it is less than 0 or greater than 0. If it is less than 0, the equation, the next decision parameter is obtained through e this equation and the next possible pixel is x k plus 1 comma y k. But if it is greater than 0, we will have to substitute this as the next pixel and p k plus 1 is given by this equation. So, once the first octant is completed, we can finish off the next 7 octants based on the symmetry property and now we have drawn the circle with center as origin. We, when, when it is required to be drawn at a particular center say, comma, say it is 2 comma 2 or 3 comma 3, we will have to just add that particular value to the x value. So, if it is 0 comma 10 as the initial value, we will add 0 plus 2, 10 plus 2 to get the center as 2 comma 2. So, we will repeat the same steps until x is greater than or equal to y. So, this is an example problem wherein we have to draw a circle with a radius 10. Right? So, the initial decision parameter as we know it is 5 by 4 minus r where r is the radius which is 10. So, we get minus 9 as the answer. So, initial decision parameter is minus 9. So, when we have to compare this with 0, it is obviously less than 0. We will have the initial point x naught y naught to be 0 comma 10 and we have got the initial decision parameter to be minus 9 which is negative. So, when it is negative the next pixel is given by x k plus 1 which is 0 plus 1 it is 1 and y k remains constant so we have got 1 comma 10. So, with these values we will have to calculate the next decision parameter since it is negative we will use first case which is p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus 2 x k plus 1 plus 1. So, when substituting there it is p k minus 9 plus 2 into 1 which is 2 plus 1 which gives minus 6. So, which is again negative. So, if it is negative, we will have to increment x and y remains constant. So, with these values say minus 6, 2 comma 10, we will have to substitute in the equation since it is negative again, use the first case, get what is p k plus 1 which is equal, which is equating to minus 1. It is again negative. So, x gets incremented, y remains constant. When we substitute these values, we are getting next p k to be p k plus 1 is 6. Since it is greater than 0, we will have to go to the second case where x is incremented, y is decremented. So, 3 is incremented to 4, y is decremented from 10 to 9. So, the, with these values again we get next pk value which is negative. So, x gets incremented, y remains constant. With these values the next pk is 8. So, x gets incremented, y gets decremented since this pk plus 1 is positive. Again, with these values we get pk plus 1 to be 5 which is positive again. So, x gets incremented, y gets decremented. Now, x is equal to y wherein we stop the iteration. When we plot these points say starting from 1 comma 10 till 7 comma 7, we get the first octant completed. These black dots are obtained through midpoint circle drawing algorithm. When this particular octant is obtained, the next particular octant can be obtained by the symmetry properties. This 1 comma 10 is symmetrical to 10 comma 1. When one complete quadrant is drawn, the other three quadrants can be drawn using the same symmetry property, we get the entire circle. Uh, so far we have seen about midpoint circle drawing algorithm, we draw the circle at center origin 0 comma 0, at the starting point is 0 comma r, we draw this octant until x is equal to y. We find what is the next possible pixel which is closest to the circle, it would be either x k plus 1 comma y k or x k plus 1 comma y k minus 1. We find the midpoint of both and we find what is the decision parameter whether it is less than 0 or greater than 0 based on that we uh, choose the p k plus 1 and also choose the next pixel which can be either x k plus 1 or y k uh, or x k plus 1 comma y k minus 1. With that we draw the one octant and then with the symmetry property we finish off the entire circle. Thank you.